Hello, uh, in this small video we're going to be making some iodoacetone, which is quite interesting. Uh, you do that by adding um, iodine. This is, um, okay. it looks uh, like there's a bit about there, but there's actually only one gram of it. Uh, so we're going to be adding one gram of acetone to five milliliters of, uh, one, millili one, one gram of iodine to uh, five milliliters of acetone. This actually turns out to be a massive excess of iodine, a uh, massive excess of acetone because iodine is just such a heavy element. There's really not that much moles here. So what we're going to just be slowly adding it. You know what, I've actually forgotten the acid catalyst, but it seems to be working just like that, which is interesting. Um, so what I'm going to do quickly, uh, let's pick phosphoric acid, because it's just an interesting acid. I'm going to be just pouring a very small amount into this. We just need a slight amount of H plus ions, because that can form the enol form of uh, our acetone, and that can be re reacted with our iodine, which is cool. It's an interesting... Um, it's an interesting mechanism. So I'm going to just add a very small amount. Okay. So immediately I can see quite a bit of bubbling. I'm not entirely sure if that's... No, that's not visible, is it? Um, but there's definitely a reaction going on. Which is very interesting, seeming as there's barely no iodine in there. Let's add some more. So this is forming our iodoacetone, uh, but as a side product, um, it forms hydroiodic acid, uh, so HI, so the iodine equivalent of hydrochloric acid, which is uh, actually a controlled substance in the United States, which is surprising. I've got a bit more iodine, but I think I'll save that for other reactions, since it's, a, it's not that hard to produce, but it's a bit annoying because you have to do quite a bit of filtration and there's a whole acid catalyst and everything. So give this a stir. And this is actually just the reaction as it's done. I, I'm not entirely sure how fast it's supposed to be, but um, it seems to have almost stopped bubbling. So yeah, you can see how I just dipped this um, wooden stir thing in here. And it's singed brown because of the iodine in there. So uh, that's literally it for the reaction. It's add the um, iodine to the acetone with a small amount of acid, which is silly because I forgot one of the only three things that goes into it. And this is it. Uh, you can actually distill this off, but like this is five milliliters, so there's really not much point doing that. But yeah, this is an organic iodine compound, which is just rather interesting. That's it. Goodbye.